of this episode is gonna be like, who the hell is this girl? <laughs> Nobody <laughs> seen me yet. We're like, okay, right. but who the fuck is she? Stay tuned. Stay tuned. It gets it gets interesting. I'm coming soon, I'm coming guys. Soon, no guys. worries. No Yvette, worries. Yvette, Yvette's in there. Mm. She comes episode yep. three. Welcome to the second installment of the Love Hangle. My name is Liddell Tajul. I play Anthony Okoye. And I'm Sybil, and I play Yvette Haywood. So pretty much what we gonna do on the Love Hangle or Hangover or is <laughs> we're gonna recap the last episode and we're gonna talk about what y'all put in the comments so um let's get down to the nitty-gritty so quick recap of episode two of no love lost starts off with um me you know we left y'all on a cliffhanger you know me no shirt on yeah meat print hanging out meat print hanging out <laughs> stuffed with some socks uh-huh. she got that nice impression yeah me walking down the stairs and i catch um Mariah with her ex Noah. <laughs> She's having a conversation and I got a bottle in my hand and I'm like, hey, what's, what's good? She's like, give me a minute. Noah is telling her how he lost his job pretty much because of her because he was setting up a huge anniversary and the time he was taking off of work, falsifying his hours was him game planning. That's kind of, that sucks. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Talking about it, it really sucks. Dude got fired. For setting up his, uh, his anniversary with his chick, and his chick is now fucking, fucking you. I come back downstairs, tired of it. She's taking too long, you know. And I tell her, you know, I'll just see you at work. And I tell Noah, this this line was was, was me and I don't know if y'all peeped it, but I tell Noah to keep his head up. <laughs> he was looking a little, he was looking a little sad. So I say, hey, keep your head up. That's grounds for fighting, though. You know that, right? Low key. Yeah, you mad. Or high key. That's mad. Real I don't know if somebody can tell me to Do not right speak. Here. Come in my house and the tell side me. Side nigga, don't speak. Word. Unless spoken to. Well, not Anthony. Not Anthony. <laughs> He's been speaking this whole time. The Woke up morning. the next morning. Next morning. And Noah was still very sad. And she was trying to figure out what was the living situation going to be about. But of course, Noah said he's not going. Which I don't think he should go. But well, about time he stood up for himself. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's this place. Just because she decorated little couch and plants and stuff don't mean it belongs to her, you know? And clearly, he packed a lunch for her because he still get, he still cares about her, but... Boy, they act like a soccer mom who packed her lunch. So it was sweet. She's just a bitch. Well, I don't, I don't know what dude packs a soccer lunch. Maybe that's something he's always done that's for her. That's why he lost it. Simple little things like that. You can't be doing that. Yeah, you're right. Nice guys do finish last. <laughs> always. Damn. Always. It's really a cold yeah. world. <laughs> it's a oh. cold world. <laughs> then what happens? She got real cutthroat after that, ain't it? Well, a little bit. A little bit. Well, that's when she went to the office with you. You guys, no, 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 you no. guys were at before work. That, before that, she told him. Oh, yeah, yeah, Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is really yeah, sad. Yeah, no, that, that line was like, this, she, she called him sad. She said, this is really sad, Noah. You need to stop this. And then he went off. He said, but just because, just because I uh, <laughs> divorced doesn't mean I don't love you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and then she's like, yeah, whatever, nigga. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, that's when, after that, she went to work, and yeah. she was apologizing for what happened. Yeah, she had apologized to me, because, you know, she left me, you know, she left me a little high and dry. She left you and your meat for not, not high and dry. Not Anthony. Let me not stop, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and who's Anthony? You're Anthony or he's Anthony? I'm trying to figure out <laughs> who, were, who was left hanging. <laughs> kind of like was explaining like the situation itself saying it was difficult she doesn't think she can handle it uh, because he doesn't want to move out anymore and that's where Anthony advises her to take legal action take legal action and then the beautiful part of what Anthony does you know after all of that he pops out big guns he gets all ready he says hey it's our anniversary and I got you formation <laughs> tickets <laughs> Hey. 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 but he did that real smooth <laughs> got a formation tickets yes. floor seats yes if you watch the vmas yes you know what that means that means pennies come off because, automatic yes you got her Queen beyonce Pete? tickets hello so you know anthony got money yes <laughs> got a floor seats you know they had a little smooch smooch and um Got yeah, she got the booty a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but Mariah's still a bitch, no matter what, because now she got Noah first.
was trying to pack her lunch, she didn't appreciate it. And then she got her best friend Daphne offering her a place to stay. Since Everybody just catering to Mariah. Yeah, she's but she's so not grateful because she calling her place small and shit. Talking about she don't want to stay in her small little place. Well, stay your ass with Noah. Or stay in under the bridge or something. Like. <laughs> no, that's how you feel. Yeah, she's so rude. I can't nah, she is. Take she it. is. And then we cut to the next scene. I think it's um, Noah and Quincy. Quincy. Uh, yes. Getting a little jogging, a little workout, and um, they, they pretty much Quincy, like he's been doing this whole time in the web series, is just like trying to encourage his bro. Not like, encourage. <laughs> what you mean? That's encouraging. That's what I do. He's just basically saying the best way to get over your ex is to fuck somebody else. That's for, for you real. You think that's good advice? For real niggas, that's encouragement. That's the best way to get over. It's to send your boy some new pussy. Uh, <laughs> Shout out to Quincy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the best. that's the only way you're going to get over is to try something new. You can cut to the next scene with Rochelle. You saw what happened with her? Yeah. So Noah comes in. Uh huh. Noah, he's going to put down. He, he's about to line it up. Yeah. He thought he was going to line it up. Yeah. And then here comes on the big bad wolf. Ruby, Ruby, uh -huh. Casey. <laughs> Finally get to see Casey. Casey walks in. Nice Mr. Clean ball head. Fresh ball. Right, looking like Suge Knight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, Rochelle! <laughs> Rochelle! <laughs> uh, Tell him to bring her ass on and all that. No one could even put the mat down. Nah, man, it got cut short. Damn. Uh, and we cut to, this is probably the saddest part. Yeah, I was hurt. Part. Like, I felt it. I really did. Because you, oh, I'm sorry, Anthony. Not me, man. I want to get it mixed up. It's not me. Yes, it's not I'm him. An actor. Yes, it's so, Anthony. So, Both Anthony. <laughs> okay. So we coming back from the formation today. So you already right. formation um concert. So you already know what's about to go down. Right, because her panties melted. Gotcha. They vanished. Done. Right. Done At that point, you don't really give up. Believe who's in the house. Clearly. Poor Noah. He and heard everything. Anthony and Mariah they just head upstairs and you know. All the creaking of the bed. Oh all my the God. How how horrible is that? Like I imagine him sleeping. He obviously was sleeping. He yeah, ain't cookie. Yeah, cookies and cream Hershey's. Can I get some cookies? Go ahead, my <laughs> So, my dog Noah is sleeping. Yeah. And all you hear is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that how it sounded though? Something like that. Let me hear your moan. Let me hear your moan. Y'all heard it. That was like, <laughs> Watch it on the end of um, episode two. Um, those are my exact um, voice notes. If you want to know what I sound like, what he sounds like, ladies. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> just hit that rewind button. Like position at that time, like I could have just yeah, make punch a wall and like yo something. But he's a, he's a better man. He's a better than better man than most. Right. For handling the situation like that, what would you do if you live in, like what would you do if I was a if I was yeah. like in his in his, in situation, his situation, I would have went upstairs. You did what? I would have fucked every- No! You would have fucked that She said, I would have fucked fuck everybody! everybody in the <laughs> no, I would have- <laughs> no. okay. I would have fucked everything up. Oh, okay. Y'all, yeah, I would have fucked everything up. I'm crazy. Just yeah. a little bit, not a lot of it. But, um, but alright, hey, so probably my favorite time of the hangover is where we go over y'all comments. Now y'all comments be wild sometimes. These people be- YouTube people be funny. Y'all really be funny with y'all comments. They're ruthless. So, but we didn't have time to pick everybody, so we picked a couple. Just gonna um, select you, kind of read over them, kind of give our opinion to what you guys thought about the episode. All right, and the first comment we're gonna read is by Kia Robinson, and she said, "Wow, the disrespect is beyond real. She could have had the decency to do what she did at her boyfriend's house to spare her ex's feelings." She's right. You want to go tricking, thotting, and whatever, do that at the other guy's house. Like, how long have her and Noah been divorced in the first place? He's still mourning. I feel like she's just gauging it off of Noah's personality so far. What we've seen in the web series, he's coming off like, you know. A sucker. He, yeah, he can't put his foot down. So when you present yourself like that, the female's going to walk all over it. You know? So, like, why do I have to go to his house? They come to my house. <laughs> and maybe she thinks that'll be a way to get him out yeah, even sooner, too. That's true. She wants him out so bad. All right, so we got um Larry one 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 two <laughs> says, 
fuck you mean six months? And bitch can't even be grateful for for lunch. Damn. All them cursing, the um, Larry for the ones. She was ungrateful for the lunch. That was pretty. It was so rude. I was pretty like, rude. <laughs> yeah. She and what we said, we like we said in the recap. She called up. She's like, yo, this is is the way she did it too. She's like, this is sad. <laughs> Chase all the time getting free dates and free lunches they don't like dudes. So, yeah, true. Hey, true, true. Get it where you can. Right? And the next comment is from Sucker Free Nels. They put no respect. Not respect. Respect. <laughs> no respect. Oh, yes, me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one needs to put his foot down and stop acting like a punk ass. Mm. Tell her to get the fuck out. Mm. And if she refuses to go, let it be clear that she better not bring anybody that house. I would have her ass in, in eviction court so fast. Is she a landlord or something? I don't know. <laughs> Clear the premises and have anybody else in the house or I will have an eviction <laughs> court. <laughs> eviction court. Yeah, she would have gotten served some papers. Nah, definitely. Like we said, uh, that, that was pretty disrespectful. Yeah. But. She's cutthroat. You know, she, she's she been doing it, so you know, who's going to stop her? I guess we'll see. Clearly not. No. <laughs> Clearly not. No, at this point. So we got Winton Marhorn. I swore that said wonton. Maybe I'm hungry. No, 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 no. You you, you are right. That's is it wonton? No, it's Winton. It is Winton? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dyslexia, yeah, just a little bit. But um, Rochelle needs to dump Casey's sorry ass. He seems abusive, and, he does, and she deserves better. Yes, sister, yes. <laughs> Why? Why does he? Because he was yelling. He told it like, what, we don't know. We don't For know real. the backstory. You're right. You're what right. happened if he had to go to work or something, and then she was holding him up, talking to another dude. Right. So just because he said, "Come on, let's go," he sounds abusive, and she deserves better. You don't even know him yet, and you already judging him based off of one scene. What? What? Why are we so judgmental nowadays? Gosh, Gosh. females, just ready to judge a brother. You already got no hairline. Leave him alone. <laughs> he already got a struggle. Word. How much more does he have to fight against? Well, Zuri, yeah. Mo apostrophe uh -huh. East. <laughs> Zuri Mo East. I don't condone domestic violence, but I would have punched that hoe. This my house. You lucky I don't put you out. I be feeling like no, no, the I, yelling through I, these, you know, messages. There's a lot of energy coming from these yeah. YouTube comments. And yeah. When we read it, we can definitely feel that. Yeah. You said the capital, capital letter. This, this is yeah. Like when Wade hit that shot, uh -huh. um, in Miami, and he he stood on top of the thing and went, "This is my house." Don't but you don't condone domestic violence, but you would have punched punch that, that hoe. Hole. Okay. That should be a song now. <laughs> punch that hoe. Punch that hoe. Punch that hoe. Yeah. Okay. You, you heard it first. <laughs> Damon Jafar. I guess he related to um, Aladdin. Or something. I was going to say Aladdin. Yeah, related to Aladdin. Damon Jafar, his ex-wife, his ex-wife dude is an ass clown. A real dude would mind his business. Now, I'm kind of lost. Wait, What's who are you talking about? Yeah, who are you talking about? You talking about um, his, my, my man. Wait, his Let's, let's ex, figure this out. Okay. His ex-wife ex dude, dude. Maybe Noah. Wait, his ex-wife dude? No, you! It's me. That's Anthony. Ex-wife ex dude. Right. Is an ass clown. Ass clown. A real dude would we'll mind, mind his, his business. business. Oh, I guess he's talking about Anthony when he was telling Mariah, like, take legal action. Take legal action. Mm -hmm. And but, he said, keep your head up. But, nah, I ain't trying to side with Anthony or nothing like that. But Mariah is his business now. Cause he's piping her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he is minding his business. You're right. So what you right. saying? What you saying, fam? You right. You right. You All right. right. Respect. Who's the clown? Who's the clown now? <laughs> Who's the clown now? Respect. Respect. <laughs> Jay Holland. Mm -hmm. Yo, if this dude don't go Stefan or Kel in the next few episodes, <laughs> man. L O L. He needs to become a savage. Yo. <laughs> That was funny. Yeah, that, that was. was funny. That was. Like, Steph, you need a chamber? Like, yeah, he does. No one need to just get in the chamber. Yeah. <laughs> and then come on, 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Seriously. All right. Now nah, that's that's real. That's real. Like again, like from all we see it so far, we know it is just some, he, he's yeah. real Steve Urkel. He's yeah, soft. Really, really, really yeah. is. But like maybe that's just his personality. I don't know. Like I guess we'll see <laughs> what happens. I guess. Eve leaves. <laughs> Y'all got some names out here. Heaves Leaves. Heaves Leaves. That's us. Heaves. Elise. Elise. Yo. Alright. I feel like people just went. Yeah. Oh, right. I'm keyboard <laughs> when they went for their names. Alright. <laughs> no one need a real woman like Rochelle in this life. Mm. 100. 100. <laughs> can make. 100. Um, what? Can we make them goals or oh, not? Can we make them goals or not? But or keep not. it. I'm but keep it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but keep it. But keep up the good work. I'm loving the show so far. Well, thank you for the compliment yes, on it. That's love. You loving the show too. And Rochelle so far, yeah. You know, she holding it down. But, Not really. But they talking about she need um no, but she got somebody already in her life. Casey. Right. The strong black brother. Right. <laughs> aggressive the, black the brother. Aggressive <laughs> domestic violence. violence. Yeah. Let her Mama, let her handle her situation before we all connecting her to Noah. Right. Oh, do y'all do y'all want to see that? Huh? Can we see what Casey brings to the table? Yeah, he Good might be guy. a great guy. Yeah, we, we, don't, know. we don't know. Maybe he was having a bad day, or maybe he was really waiting a long time, and she just, you know, talking to this guy, and he's just like, hello, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. hurry up, I've been waiting for you, you don't know. The whole moral of this, um, is, is stop judging people. Yeah. Or for one scene. Right. At least wait a whole s s season. Right, <laughs> Before exactly. Before you start making decisions <laughs> about characters and stuff, all right? The comments for this episode is going to be like, who the hell is this girl? <laughs> Nobody's seen me yet. But like, okay, hey. but who the fuck is she? <laughs> stay tuned. Stay tuned. It gets it gets interesting. I'm coming soon, guys. Coming soon, no guys. worries. No worries. Yvette, Yvette's in there. Mm. She comes episode three. Yep. You see her in the credits, so you know she's on it. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. But thank y'all for checking out. This is The Love Hangover. Stay tuned. Next week, Wednesday, we get you episode three. Mm -hmm. It's sure to be lit. Yes, and I'll be in it. Oh, ooh, that's your debut? Yes, I know. Oh, okay. Finally. Get your popcorn ready. It's about to get interesting. <laughs>